life is a marathon. It's about like the ups and the downs, but understanding like how to remain consistent to reach a goal in life, man. And, and marathon, you know, Nipsey Hustle too. I think that's what me and me and that's dude, dude, talk about that tomorrow today or well, tomorrow. I'll be fasting for like thirty one days. Wait, come out. You be Welcome to the Humble Brad Podcast. I'm one of your co-hosts, Jeremy McKellar, and this year we are so excited to partner with one of the premium beard and personal grooming products around Sauce. Fellas, if you need your beard and your personal grooming experience to be taken to another level, tap in with Sauce and all the amazing products that they have. Link below, use the promo code HUMBLEBRAG, and we hope that you enjoy the show. Much love, family. Peace. Hey man, hey, say man. man, we back. We back. Hey, we got an honorary, the one and only, the humble, the the oh, oh so mighty <laughs> Elijah Battle. Man. I like that. Little bro, little bro, man. What's up, what's up, baby? Oh, yeah. Little bro, man. Little bro, man. Little bro, man. Hey, e, we so shouted you out a lot of time, uh, uh, so many times mm -hmm. on season one. Yeah, because the anticipation was there, man. We couldn't wait for this moment. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you this, it, it's so exciting, so humbling to have you on. So thank you for joining us. Hey, it's a pleasure, man. Thank you for sure. Right. Right. I mean, I mean, what you got What you got on right now? I mean, you got a little something? Yeah, I got a little bit of Puma. It's a little history. Hey, if y'all don't know, it's been love, Puma. What's, what's that history behind that, man? Talk to me. Once I got a new time, Nipsey Hulse one night, he really put me on. I really didn't want to put him like that. But oh, shout out to, hey, shout out to Tyler, because he did, he did put me on. Yeah, early on, yes sir, yes yeah, sir. Yeah. It is crazy though, bro. You, you look at his closet; he got every color. I'm like, wow. I yeah. <laughs> but hey, that's what he want though. That's, that's what he got. 20, I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Ke Kedra could be here today, as I can probably see. We miss it, Kedra and everything. But hey, he's stepping in. And oh shoot, man. He, hey, you didn't hear what he said. He said, "What, what, what, what we drinking on?" Hey, he already know. Like, what am I doing? Like, what's happening? Get right into it, man. What we got, CB? Man, look. Charles Woodson's intercept. You know, when I first picked up the bottle, <laughs> the first name, something about the first name. Something about that first name. Charles is a powerful name, man. I ain't gonna get into the history of the name <laughs> Charles, but Chuck. That's that's the first thing that caught me. And then next thing you know, I'm I'm looking into it and realize Charles Woodson, the, the great uh the football player, right? D B. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Um Realize it was his, and it makes sense. Intercept, right? Alden Smith pressures. Manning throws a lob for Demarius Thomas. Intercepted by a flying Charles Woodson again. When the game was on the line, Wood showed up. He was a game breaker. Let's for Charles Woodson. He sacks. Oh, Charles Woodson with an electric interception. Intercepted Woodson down the sideline to the end zone. Touchdown, Charles Woodson. But Charles Wilson brings the same passion and hard work to his wand and his once in a lifetime football career. Uh, with Intercept, the de defensive great delivers a monetary wand with diversity and complexity that reflects his own story journey. So mm. I'm excited about this, man. I haven't had it before, but I've, I've heard good things. So, right. Yeah. You know, obviously, you know, with our ties to, to football in that world, to see somebody in that industry come out and, and then kind of dive into the wine world is exciting. So I'm definitely. Uh, looking forward to see how this tastes and smell and all the good. That's you know, big. We know anybody else in the league that has their own wine? Nah, I was just I talking. Know in the NBA, there's a lot of different people. But was I talking yeah. to you recently? Were we talking about like somebody started their own like wine? Oh yeah. <laughs> did you did you tell me that? No, 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 not in, not from the league. I must have been talking to somebody else, but somebody. I'm talking just in just general. They like, oh, they put like 30, 40 grand to start. Oh their own yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. That was me. Yeah, had a chance to go and visit. Uh, went to a wine festival. And I uh, had a chance to 
you know, meet a lot of different wineries, a lot of different winemakers, man. It's amazing. If you ever get a chance to go, we probably gonna do a little special episode oh, yeah, where we go to them. a wine fest or to a winery um, and check out yeah. different wines. But man, once you actually go out there and you meet owners and you actually talk to them about the stories, man, that's what it's all about. And I think T T H B on the go is gonna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? So where was the festival? It was in D C. Okay. So, <laughs> so e, you you know how the show go. You done seen it. You okay. you been behind the scenes a few times. You know what I'm saying. So, mm-hmm. first thing we gonna do before we get in this conversation, man, is <laughs> we we gonna he's swirling his wine. You know what I'm saying. We gonna, we gonna do a little smell test. See what it's about. Oh, you know, got to do the swirl and the smell. You know, I'm getting like mm. some cherry and like low key like a light hint of chocolate. I ain't, I, a chocolate. I ain't a chocolate type of guy either. So and, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is called a heavy pour. <laughs> <laughs> heavy candy. Shout out to Jeff Battle, man. Yeah. Bro, I couldn't see. <laughs> so look, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. Off, I'm gonna go off topic. Go on a tangent real quick. So Jeff does our pouring. He he pours the wine in because he has a great. Uh, when it comes to like making sure every glass is very <laughs> I was off today though. You, 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 you was off today because one of the glasses is a little taller than the other one. I said, what am I, I said, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell, bro. I knew something. So, so now I try to balance it and I just went overhand. So anyway, mm. hey. So, and it's a very uh, unique talent that he has. But uh, <laughs> I did notice today he was very heavy. I was heavy. Very heavy on the floor. So those of you watching and joining, go ahead and Throw a little extra in there before you take your first <laughs> Throw a little extra. <laughs> Ain't that wrong with a little extra? We heavy today. We got heavy E with us. We got we heavy E, you know what I'm saying? Big time. Oh, so, e, 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 E's probably look normal. Oh, e. <laughs> e, what you smelling? Chocolate. Mm-hmm. I smell oh, chocolate, too. I smell, I smell chocolate. chocolate, strawberry, I little oak. Cherry. I smell some cherry. A little oak. Smell like oak, for sure. Mm. Hey, well, to E's first episode, man. We'll give it a taste test. <laughs> and he ain't a guest, man. He a brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. He a brother, for sure. So much love, bro. Ooh. What's the alcohol content now? Mm-hmm. Mm, good question. What that is? What that is? Okay, Mr. Woodson. Mm. I don't know. I'm still deciding on what I think about it. I don't know. 14.5. It's heavy, but it is. It's not as dry, it's though. It's not, it's, not as, it's not a dry it's wine. It's a sweet. It's a sweet it's, wine. It's, it's kind of it's a little on the sweeter though. side. Yeah. 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 Um, I Can I share the Bibino score with him real quick mm-hmm. before we even get to the end? What do you think? It's a 4.0. It mm-hmm. is a Bibino, not the THB. I'm uh-huh. not gonna give it the THB, but the Bibino score, score is yeah. 4.0. Hmm. It's, it's not. It's not bad. I mean, it's um. It teases you with the dryness. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. it comes like later on, like mm-hmm. not when you first. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Shout out to Charles hey. Wilson. Man. Hey, shout out to Charles Wilson. Charles man. Wilson. Appreciate you, man. Good stuff. It is good, though. Oh, yeah. E, what's up, man? How life going? How you doing? It's marvelous. Yeah. I have a marvelous. Yeah, it's marvelous. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what you been up to, man? Talk to us. Not much, man. Just really on my little health tip for one night. I don't know. Nah, man, I don't, man, I don't eat how. Big, big, big bro. Nah, <laughs> big bro is good. Totally different. Totally different. different. And as you can see by the size and sheer oh. mass, <laughs> you know, we eat totally different. He's a more health nut than I am. Me, I live, I live life, bro. I eat what I want to eat. Yeah, that's true. I'm curious about that. If, uh, let's talk about y'all childhood. Cause I don't think we ever really discussed this. <laughs> let's dive into it, man. Nah, childhood. Bro. I want to take it back. All right. I'm curious, E, from your perspective. Uh-huh. How it felt growing up as a little brother to Jeff. Uh-huh. And obviously, I have a sister too, but you know, like, what was that like? Did you know? Was did he set the bar? You know, did he did he kind of encourage you, or you know, how was it growing up? Uh, he definitely set the bar. Especially like sports and all that. Yeah, he did. Then he would he would be he was big and that's how I'm talking. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he set the bar. He, he did. He set it high too. Yeah, strong, strong. Uh, I'm trouble man. But me, but me, I kind of like. I don't want to really do my thing. I ain't really give a fuck. He ain't really care, I, I really ain't really care what other people said, but I kind of did my thing. I, yeah. I got my own. Yeah. I got my own, so. Mm-hmm. It was cool. It was cool. I should have I should have played basketball. I don't know who it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got footage of that. No? We do, and it was no. nasty. <laughs> First of all, of, of two on two, and you and my team. <laughs> hey, hey, nah. I said, I said, hey, I said got, wait, you can't go on Charles. You can't go on Jerm. <laughs> and he got that work. Best believe. He did. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you though. I ain't gonna like. You got, I would say one sport that I wish I did play was golf. Man, that's well, shit. we all want to do that, but you want to play. So look, it's 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 a funny thing. Like we try to put you on basketball. 
Yeah. You ain't really trying to have it. Yeah. Basketball in our town is, that's it. Like, you can play basketball. He ain't gonna play basketball. Play mm-hmm. football. I ain't know nothing about golf. If I didn't do golf, yeah. we'd, we'd have easily been easily. legit. Maybe on the tour right now. You never know. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Cap. Call a cap on that one. We're gonna call a cap. Anyway, um, nah, yeah, but it is funny though. But see, when we were younger, younger though, I was a good influence and a bad influence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like anytime, anytime we got, you know, whooped or something, we got in trouble. It was, it was, it was my fault for yeah. sure. Yeah. He yeah. was, he was just there. Yeah. In the wrong moment. Yeah. <laughs> so I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. You definitely yeah. seem like the uh, treacherous little twin. <laughs> Yeah, my but beans, yeah, my beans came from. Mm-hmm. I ain't do nothing. Not, not, not the beans. Not the beans. Hey, bro, you know beans. you know the beans. Hey, they don't, they don't even let them beat beat kids no more. Hey. We got beat. They need to be beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Man. There's some bad little kids out there. Bad now. Mm-hmm. now. How was it though for you? You know, Jeff grown up, went to college. You know, did his own thing, and then now you all are grown up. Now, how do you look at? Your brother, it's like iron sharpening iron, like continuously trying to make yourself better. Yeah, I mean, you kind of took two different paths. He went to college, I did. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I really had to find myself, step out of myself. So mm-hmm. I don't really Me know, too. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not as big though. Yeah. So still good. learning myself. I do like the fact that you you're independent though, right? Yeah, like yeah. you make your own decisions. Yeah. Um, obviously, you take you take note, you listen to the influence and the guidance that you get from the people around you. Mm-hmm. But you are your own individual, and you're you know, you bring a, a light that is a very unique and bright light. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I want to commend sure. you on that, man. It's nice. He can go hey, anywhere. Can we, you know what I mean? He can go anywhere. Hey, you know? can we, <laughs> <laughs> hey, like when you, first, when you first met me, you know how like yeah. little folks shy talking. You know what I'm saying? You, you grown. So, yeah. so, 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 but so this is what happened though. We were in D.C. Mm-hmm. I was in D.C. Yeah. And I was like, he was in, he was in Lenore. I'm like, yo. Come with me in DC, bro. And he was like, nah. nah. I'm saying, Lenore, I'm like, nah, come to DC. Good. So I forced it. And I think I was in shop. I went and picked him up. We drove all the way back to DC. Mm-hmm. Uh, we get to DC. He, he moves in. Bro, it's a different type of living up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. From, from, from a good standpoint, but we were broke, bro. So, so and he wasn't working that time. So I was broke, broke, bro. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So we used to that like, he got some funny videos, man. Like we're like, all right, we're gonna ration out our food this way. We're gonna do this, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do store. So like we got the ground together in that aspect, which is pretty cool. Man, that's good. Um and I think like, you know, the stuff that I try to go with stuff I already been through or the failures or whatever, I try to like help him out with that. But he know when he listen, bro. If you listen, I got some gems. Yeah, I, I got one funny story, bro. All right, talk to us. All right. He's in high school. Mm-hmm. I'm in college. Right. I'd have mm-hmm. been through that. I know what you need to do. Been through that. And hey, we're gonna come back to that too. When yeah. you was in high school, when you was in college. We're gonna come back <laughs> yeah, to that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, huh? Go ahead. We're gonna yeah, come yeah. back to that. Yeah, so what happened is <laughs> well, you confused me. Anyway, so what happened is we came to, I came to a football game. And he playing timid, man. Like he ain't he ain't really he ain't being him. Yeah, you know, he had that dog in him. He had that dog in him. Like I ain't like what I was seeing. Yeah. Like he running slow. So I came over to the sideline from the stands. I'm like, I said, hey, bro, you see this guy on kickoff? I want you to run full speed. Don't you stop <laughs> and run right through his body. Yeah. Like, like crackheads. Like, just keep running. He said, like, what you mean? I said, run full speed because he fast, bro. Like, he's way faster than I was. I said, you wait for you fast. Just run full speed. He said, I said, run full speed. All right. And just don't stop and just hit, him. go a little low and just hit him. Dude. He took every word like he's all right. So then I smacked his helmet. I smacked him like, let's go, <laughs> bro. Kick all came. My dad, me and my dad, sent inside. I said, Dad, watch this. I, I don't know what he's gonna do, but he may do something crazy. <laughs> bro, they blew that whistle, man. He came. He went running out full speed. All you heard in the stadium was boom. <laughs> I said, <laughs> bro, because the guy wasn't calling a fair catch. He was letting yeah. people get close to him, yeah. and he was trying to catch it. He's trying to be swaggy, you know what I mean? Trying to catch it and get over there. Yeah. I said, Liza. Teach him a lesson. Like, he gonna call it yeah, bro. Yeah. Ran right through him. I promise you right now, the whole, bro, it was so loud. My dad was like, what did yeah. you say? I said, I just told him to run through him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what'd, bro, you say? what'd you say to that boy? <laughs> <laughs> bro, he knocked his. So the funny thing about the story, though, is from here, there on out, mm. every time they kicked it off, dude didn't even let the ball get, yeah, like, halfway yeah. in the air. He was, <laughs> 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 Dang, bro, that does 
was so funny. Ray was dope to see it. You he know what I'm saying? Nah, he ain't fun. He, he, he laid there for a second. Yeah. He, he, he laid there for a second. Yeah, you know, you know everybody else. You know what I'm saying? You ain't. Yeah, hey, but no. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> I met Elijah in, uh, and mind you, this whole episode is not going to be about Elijah. E, yeah. But yeah. I met E when we was in college. I was me and Jeff's roommates all four years. And uh, <laughs> Elijah was in this little shell. You know what I'm saying? Like, when he came up, I was like, man, he going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? He going to grow out of it. <laughs> he gonna grow out you, of you know how you got, you have... Uh, high hopes, high hopes for somebody, or you, you, you know, you can visualize what they're gonna be or become. Yeah, I always, I was like, man, something special about this kid. Is it that he's special or something special about? Him? Hey, chill, <laughs> hey, hey, chill. Nah, leave it there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. yeah. Just recent, I mean, in the last <laughs> few years, and I, and I feel I, I take some ownership in, in his development because. <laughs> <when, laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I take some ownership in his development, um, but in the last few years, man, you really like you done sprouted, man. You ain't your, you ain't your prom right now. Yeah, you do it on your bag, man. You ain't your prom, e. You ain't your bag right now. We, we are in our prom. We are in our prom. We just at different, you know. Yeah, that was a prom. My no, problem, think, my problem is on this, <laughs> going this way. You do. I think, I think that's big though, man. Environment is, is big, man. People that you're around can really mold you into the person that you. That you yeah. want to be, and sometimes it can show you like other areas of like how you can grow. Mm-hmm. And then, um, man, I think that's that's really big. Even I don't know, I wasn't around in that time, you know. Yeah, I really I'm, had to teach myself. Like, yeah, I had to teach myself. I've seen the pictures though. He looked, you know, yeah, I was like, yeah, I, I had to get out of the way. I had to get out of the way. I had to get out of like really like learn how to talk to people, like just, yeah, just yeah, all over. Like, I don't meet a, I don't meet a stranger now today. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they, it's all, it's all love. Yeah. Nah, so, so, e. Like, I think we were talking about this pre-show, you know, and you were talking about, man said he like heavy. He said, he, you say he like 180, 190? Yeah, 190, yeah. 190. Right now, 190. You 190 right now? 190. Cap. No, God. You got black ones, though. So make him look a little yeah, slim. You be wearing black. You don't look slim. <laughs> y'all, know how much, y'all know how much I wear right now? <laughs> you be in the woods. About, one, about 140. <laughs> 145. We're going to put that as the title of the thing, man. Oh, 145. You? Ain't no way. I'm a, a hundred. Well, running, running too much, man. You're yeah. running too Dang. much. See, but that's the thing. Like, he 190. I'm not nowhere near that. <laughs> that's yeah, all I'm good. I'm featherweight. I'm that tank weight. 190. I'm going to cut the one sheet. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> I was uh, talking to a, a coworker yesterday about these marathon runners, right? Yeah. We were talking about, like, the, the world record holder. Mm-hmm. Um, He's 5'6". Oh, he's running so fast. 115 bro. pounds. He's one fifteen. They got get that bump on him. But he was running like four minute miles, right, or something. Yeah, crazy. it's four thirty six. Crazy. Four something for like twenty six miles. For twenty six miles. Mm-hmm. He, twenty six miles. The fastest ever twenty six mile marathon was uh one hour and fifty nine minutes. Mm-hmm. And two. that's like a four minute and you know that's what he that's what he ran recently. He ran. That's more than what I did on the half. When he ran that one fifty nine, <laughs> when he ran that one fifty nine, he was they had like a pace car and they had pace runners with him and they had like a box. On the car, like I guess it was like a light that showed them what box to stay in in order to beat the the fastest time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but he was beating that. He was on it. Yeah, he was on it. That's the thing, though. Like when you're running, you got pacers. Yeah, you got pacers. But yeah. like, if you like lapping your pacer, you go, you're a different type of you're level. a different type of beast, man. <laughs> yeah, no, Same really, monster, though. Yeah, so I got I had the chance to actually do a marathon, man. Not too uh, a half marathon. Um, not too long ago. Um, man, I just really wanted to do it for myself for this year, man. Just like. Life is a marathon. It's about like the ups and the downs, but understanding like how to remain consistent to reach a goal in life, man. And and marathon, you know, Nipsey Hustle too. I think that's what me and me and me and Elijah uh, connected on that as well. But that was that was his uh his uh moniker of things like life is a marathon, you know, keep keep going. No matter what level you at in life, you know, um keep keep going and you'll get to your destination. But uh, I did a half marathon, man. man. Wait, 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 my time died. Wait, 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 how long is the half marathon? Let them know. Yeah. Half marathon, know. so that's 13.1. 13.1 miles. miles. 13.1 miles. <laughs> yeah, 13.1 miles. And then you got the Ain't full no marathon. Way. That's 26.2 miles. 
Um, yeah, hey, Jack, so hey, Jack, Jack. Jack. Hey, we got we got to bring that topic up just a little bit, though. Hey, man, yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, hey, I pulled up on them. I, I, I had, on. had some support out there, but yeah, I, you know, I, I don't need. I, I think I told everybody that I was doing it, but I, I ain't really tell tell too many people. I just wanted to do it because I started getting into my like little running bag lately. And um, man, once you get out there, you know, you can have your whole training regimen. This is a this is a good lesson for life too. You can have your whole training regimen. You can be practicing all day. And you get out there, it's thousands of people out there. Thousands. Thousands of people, people out there. And you start and you start seeing people ahead of you, Ooh. people behind you. And you just like you, Ooh, you all of your whole yeah, strategy yeah. and everything kind of like goes out the window because you like trying to, you looking at other people. Yeah. But it's like, nah, if you just stick to what you your original plan was, you'll you'll be able to run your own race, man. For sure. Oh, oh no, that's deep. That was, yeah. that, that's hard. That's hard. Yeah. 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 No, that's hard because I think a lot of people, that, that definitely went over some people's heads. Yeah. People see that every day. That's a daily thing. Daily. Like, I feel like, because see, I would try to keep up. Mm-hmm. I would mm-hmm. try to keep up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me, no, no, good while I'm done at mile three. Burn you know what I'm out. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to burn, I'm going to burn out. Yeah. And I'm going to walk. <laughs> my face. I'm telling you, we'll that. It's her, it's her mother too. Cause you, you be out there. I'm, I'm running around like, especially you see older like dudes too. I had like a nice eight minute. I had an eight minute pace going on, and then you know things started hitting me though. Started yeah. hitting me. <laughs> what, what, and then what we, mile did it start hitting? What, what mile did you like feel like? Where it really hit me was was ten. Was nine going into ten? That's yeah. where it really hit me. Like, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Which is crazy. <laughs> some, some people was calling me. I, th- I think you probably called me. I thought you called some other people that called me. I was like, <laughs> no, 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 this is what happened. This I, was like, I can't even answer the phone. No, 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 no. This, this is what happened when I pulled up. When I pulled up to the spot, I was sent. See, I don't understand. I don't understand marathons. Cause I yeah, never yeah. ran one, and, yeah. I, and I ain't gonna run one. You know what I'm saying? Ain't <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just the cute little book with you. I, I would never do that. Yeah. But what happened is, like me, me and Michelle, we pulled up. Mm-hmm. Once we got there, I was like, we I was seeing people finishing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh well, Jeremy gotta be co- getting close to being done. He may already be done. I'm I said, we might have missed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just started raining too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just started, I said, well, let me just see. So we out there and I called him and he didn't answer. That should have let me know. He probably started running, but I called him again, he dumb. <laughs> that's, that's my fault. That's on me. What I said on the I'm coming, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he answered me. He's like, I'm cool, bro. I said, my bad, bro. I, said, I'm cool, bro. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's that's a race, bro. Like yeah. that, that's different. For real. So it was so funny. I, Michelle was like, I told him to call him again. I'm like, shut up. I, 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 I was like, I'm sorry. I, I, I got excited. I just want to see him. So then we start, we get there, we sitting there, we at the finish line. And yeah. She's like, yeah. she's ran, she, I don't think she did a full marathon, but she's run a few half, half marathons, marathons, like a few of them, maybe like two or three. Mm-hmm. And she was like, no, we need to meet him like at a certain spot because he's going to need some motivation. That was big. And I'm like, that and I'm was like that was well, look, I'm like, uh, yeah. really? She's like, yeah, I'm like, we're going to church. I'm like, cool. So we, we walk maybe like, we probably walk like what do you think, like a half a mile, maybe. Yeah, about a half. We walk like a half a mile. We get to a point, mm. and we sit on this corner, and I'm like, all right. And every person that comes, I'm like, that's Jerm. Nah, that ain't Jerm. <laughs> that's Jerm. <laughs> nah, that ain't Jerm. <laughs> Finally, like we see him coming up, but I couldn't get my phone out quick enough, bro. Right? And I was like, I was like, Jerm, let's go. Cause like, The last thing they had to do was a heel. Yeah, it was like a little slight heel. Car. Oh, and I said, I know, I know he's yeah. dead. Like, yeah. gotta be. So we're like, Jeremy, let's go. Michelle started running with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... Jeff, why don't you run? I said, you know I don't do hey, this. Michelle, my dog. I was like, I jetted it out, bro. I was like, listen, he took off, though, like, because he, he was like strutting. And as we know, he's like, all right, at the end. I'm like, it didn't work. It didn't work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and they helped this time, man. It was so funny, but yeah. Man, let's put all of that into perspective. Yeah, you know, so right. big. So big. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking about like what Jerome, what you said about, about the marathon. Life is a marathon. Mm-hmm. I, a lot of people that's watching, because I, I know that we watch the, the comments and, you know, we look at the, the followers and people support us. A lot of people are in the fitness, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or either, either they're on a fitness journey or want to start. For those of you watching right now, uh, running is a life lesson. Mm-hmm. I run a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I run with E a lot. 
I ran with Jeff before, right? <laughs> uh, and I know every time I run, like it, it's like a mental focus that that's required that it, you can apply to any facet of life, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it's discipline too. It's discipline. Um, yeah. It's it's pushing your your body, your physical body, past that point. It really, it's more so mental than anything, right? Your, sure. your calves are hurting, or you breathing hard, or you breathing in cold air. I'm not gonna get to that. Y'all know what running is, yeah. but for me, is during what you were saying, running your own race. Uh, you know, if you are preparing for a marathon, you have to like focus. I mean, yeah, you got to get to the point where you kind of lose yourself, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. after the first mile, you're like, <gasps> yeah. you know, yeah. and you're like, okay, and you calm down, you settle in, you get in your zone, yeah. right? But what I just gathered just now from what you were saying, you know, hold on, I'm gonna go back. During you were telling me like one thing that kept distracting you was the way people were running, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Like, like, yo. In a way, he running by me. He he got you know he got a different style. Yeah. Now nah, like older guys. Yes, no, it's older guys. Like people that ain't really you know they not fit. They don't look like they should be blowing by me right now. Exactly. That's the thing that's demoralizing to you. Stay man. in your race. Stay in your, your zone. But what I just gathered just now, you talking about Michelle and you and it's both of y'all played an integral part in this whole thing. You were excited to see Jaren's finish. Yeah. You wanted to encourage him and celebrate his journey. At the end of the race. Cause I can only, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Michelle had actually ran a marathon, multiple ran, half marathons before. So she knew what it felt like at those different points in the race and what's yeah. needed to get past, right? Mm-hmm. So we talk about like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it full circle. One, you calling them was a, was probably a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I had no idea what I was doing, bro. Okay. Well, you I know now. I know now. But your, your intention was pure. <laughs> like the answer though, he's trying, I'm trying to make sure he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> your intention. Yeah, hey, hey, nah, yeah. It, it could be either way. It could be a mistake or it could be like. It could have helped him. It, it was like, like right. I got to be waiting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. Yeah. Like, and that was his intention, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then. <laughs> and then. Michelle was like, this is the time when we need to meet him a little further. Yeah. Not, don't meet me at that. Like if I've been working my whole life to to get to this point, don't give me my flowers at my funeral. Ooh, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, hey, you oh, so yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, man. You ain't yeah. died at the end. Yeah, he low key did though. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, but, listen, <laughs> listen, we work, we work our entire life, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or or to get to something, whether it be like my senior year of college or. You know, I'm, I'm one year away from this promotion that I'm working for, yeah. whatever it might be. Mm-hmm. It's people that have already accomplished these things that know at this point I needed a champion in my corner. Yeah. Michelle's like, let's go to, to mile 12, the 12 mile marker. Mm-hmm. Cause now he has a 1.2 left and nobody, he, he's made it to this point. Mm-hmm. No, maybe nobody's there to, to celebrate him on or maybe yeah. nobody's there to encourage him. Mm-hmm. When he see y'all, mm-hmm. he was like, I'm going to finish. I, 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 I got the video. He put into another gear for sure. <laughs> so look, so it's, gone. It's, it's two ways to look at it. Is one, if I'm the one running the race, I want to make sure I got people around me that's that's either experienced it or been experiencing things like that, so that they can kind of encourage me when they know these are the pitfalls. You, yeah. you do this for E all the time. You just tell me like, hey, I've had these failures. I want to make sure E doesn't have these same failures. Mm-hmm. Or if he does have these failures, this is how you bounce back. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. So. If you're running the race right now, any race, running physically or, you know, you're running the, the race of life, race of life. Mm-hmm. You want to make sure you got people that's going to encourage you and that's kind of experience these things. Cause that wisdom, and we're going to get into that too. That wisdom is going to help you. And then two, mm-hmm. damn, I'm so deep right now. Hey, he connected hey, to the hey, source. Man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. <laughs> but, but, but real quick, before you get to the second point, okay. I want to make sure, like you said, it, I don't want to have to go too far back, but you said run your own way, run your own race. Sorry. Mm-hmm. And um, when I was in college, that's the stuff that I had to like, shout out to Terry Shankle, man. He, he used to tell me all the time, he was, he was like, oh, oh, that's oh, for real. Like, so what, it, he, he would be like, <laughs> he would be like, like, I get frustrated on the field because like, no offense to any of the other guys I was competing with at points, I really felt like I was the best one on the field, like mm-hmm. at my position, yeah, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, and maybe that was just from, like what I've done or at a certain, at a certain time, I knew I was him, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. that may not went over with the coaches, right? Cause I may not have the same opportunities or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. So one thing he used to say, I used to get so frustrated and he's like, bro, stop looking at what other people got on their plate and they food mm-hmm. and worry about what's on your plate. Mm-hmm. He put me aside, but we in middle practice. He's like, listen, man, I see it. I can see it. You frustrated. He's like, worry about what's on your plate. 
kind of like worry about what's your race because you said you had a game plan people yeah, build yeah. past you but you got to worry about your race no and same, same same analogy right mm -hmm. and that kind of stuck with me for the rest of my life because now like and we talk about this sometimes like we see people bro who are like there right yeah. like that's where people get messed up like you you see like a Everybody said they want to be like Jay Z and Beyonce, like the power couple, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like, bro, do you know? First of all, how old is Jay Z? You gotta be like forty five, forty six. I think he's fifty. He's about, he about six five. He's fifty, 50 now. He old, bro, right? Like, okay, see, I don't even know. So he's like fifty ish, right? Yeah. Bro, it took. That's a long time. Like, you know, he got. Hey, like, Jay, if you're watching this, I was just halfway through another amazing episode of the Humble Brag Podcast. We hope that you're enjoying the show. I got with me today the OG Beer Butter and the OG Souffle, two of my favorite products from Sauce, and they have some more amazing products on their site. Definitely check them out. Link below. Don't forget to use the promo code Humble Brag. Now back to the show. Peace. Playing, bro. You ain't 65. <laughs> I don't think you are. The EO. You know what I'm saying? The EO there. He but, but, but my but boy, his and his career started later. And it started later. It took his whole life yeah. to make his first album. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, that, I that's all of a lot of people here. I wouldn't even say his, you know, he sound like him for real. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't even say his album. I wouldn't even say his music is. I mean, yeah, it played a, it definitely played a role, but that was the he got a whole nother career now, yeah, that was which the is the business life. side of it, right? Yep. Like mm -hmm. he's crushing that. That's what's really making the money. Mm -hmm. Um, and so like, but then you got Beyonce too, and I, I hear people say, oh, "I don't be like powerful." I'm like, but that's them though. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you your own, you gonna do your own thing, but you and your significant other or partner or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, Thanks. I don't know. I try to think about it like that, and it's like, man, like that's totally different. And then so. I try not to get caught up in like, oh, well, this person got this, this person got that, yeah. or this person's doing worse than me. Like, nah, like we all in our, we all in our different lanes. Yeah. We all got our own food on our plate and I got to eat what I got. I think you do a good sure. job of, of identifying what other people have on their plate though. Yep. And if that's something you want, you're going to work to get it. Oh, absolutely. And it, you know, cause so you'll ask these questions, right? Mm -hmm. You'll say like, hey, mm -hmm. how did you get that on your plate? Or hey, how are you handling what's on your plate? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I mean um, and then if you want it, you're going to go get it. Oh, for sure. Which is, you know. For sure. So, so if I really, if if I really want to run a marathon, <laughs> if I want to run a half marathon, I ask Jeremy, like, how do I train for it? Mm -hmm. And that's the other part to it. The other part to it. The other part to it is the training. Is the training. I didn't, I didn't even mention that part. You Ooh, know? Talk to us, Jeremy. Yeah. The meal beforehand, mm. the hydration that you need to do days before. You know what I mean? Like you gotta <laughs> the days before, even that, even leading yeah, up to yeah. like every single it's second, the hours <laughs> that all plays into it. Like the day beforehand, what I had pasta. I was like, hydrating myself with. And with that was like the carbs and everything. everything and like carbs. Yeah. Make sure you have something when you're in that race to kind of carry you. Yeah, and yeah. then throughout the race, I'm taking. Different things, like different supplements. I heard people be taking like mustard packs. You do that too? No, nah, I didn't do the mustard packs. I heard people That's eat. That's people, you know, cram it up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I took, I took, I took <laughs> I the... I thought that was this heartburn. Is, <laughs> 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 not my heartburn. But no, nah, like, <laughs> like, 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 like... It's like nutritional hey. things you can take. Like, yeah. they got different things that you yeah. can do. Before but, we move to our next point. I'm but, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, let me get to my second one. <laughs> Go into the second one, man. Go ahead and get your second one. I might forget. I don't know if anybody watching right now, if y'all got a memory, might, I might slip my mind. <laughs> so we talked about the runner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we got to talk about the supporter. Mm -hmm. I just want to just get this point out, get this on my chest, and then we go okay. get the slide, keep moving. All right. Yeah. You've accomplished these things. You ran a marathon, right? You've got the promotion. You've, you know, you've had failures, you've had successes, whatever, right? But then you you have a little brother or you have, you know, somebody that you have opportunity to, to mentor. Do not miss the opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I really just add, I, I was saying a prayer today. and I was like, look, continue to use me. All right. Mm -hmm. Continue to use me. And I and I'm talking to God. I'm like, you know, continue to use me because Michelle was using that moment to run with Jerm. You were using that moment to call Jerm. <laughs> <laughs> But it's because yeah, that finish line. we can be somebody's champion, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we have every. Go ahead, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we, but look, I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna end on this. One, at least my part. <laughs> <laughs> we can be somebody's champion. You can accomplish something in life. You not you didn't do it just for for your own glory. Yeah, you've done it so that you can help somebody else get to that level and further. All right, so don't miss the opportunity. That's hard. That's hard. That's really yeah. good, bro. That's really so, good. so real quick, E, I want to add you on something. So you, you know, I know we talking about like health and like running and all this stuff. 
Hey man, hang on hold it. You put me on the shoes. What you mean? The shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about the shoes, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, got, so you got mine over there. So, so he's been having. Yeah, y'all got the same. Oh, well, you got like the heavier pair, but like. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Man. Yeah, I know. But hey, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I've be, I been meaning to tell you. You really put me on the the, the shoe game. The comfortable shoe game. Oh, the Hoka. The <laughs> Hoka. All right, so look. Well, hold on. I got the new balances, though. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, I'm, gonna get, I'm about to buy some more. Yeah, so, so oh, y'all, it's, it's, it's what happened, man. Like, speaking of just, like, like help. He got, he always say, man, like, us balance, we got feet problems, foot problems. Mm -hmm. My foot... I am out of commission of running right now. You know what I'm saying? So he's out of commission for like he, 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 tore, ligament. he got tore ligament. He got to he got to he got to get a little surgeon and everything. That's what they say. Um, <laughs> I mean, he got, he got a date. He got a date. He got a date. You know what I'm but so, for, but hey, so May night, come support me too. Yeah, I got you. I'm there. I'm there. But see, for me though, so so for me though, I've always wore like whatever they gave us. At, at Carolina, so mm -hmm. like whatever the Nikes were, whatever. Mm -hmm. No offense against Nike, because I mean, but y'all ain't messing with these shoes. I'm gonna keep you a buck. So nah, man. what happened is, is like he he he's like, man, I'm gonna get these hokas, and I'm like, yeah, hookah or hoka? <laughs> he's like hoka. So we go to the store, Jeremy. You got a pair? Ooh, what up, man? Jeremy got a pair. Yep. Yeah. So like these are the hokas, right? Got the hokas in the stash, bro. bro. I just had, casually which one, which one, which one casually had them around. Uh, what they say? <laughs> hey man, it's a lot. These are the these are the Clifton. These are the Clifton nines. All right, Clifton they're nine. so light. Like, so so here's so here's the thing. So he got they got the hogas, right? They like that though, bro. No no <laughs> lie, you no going crazy. You going crazy? Man, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But go ahead. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> shout, shout out to Hoka, man. Shout out Hoka, man. Shout out Hoka, man. I ain't gonna hold you like with the hogas though. Like Elijah, he kept saying, like, man, like I need a lighter shoe. Yeah. I need something that's like yeah. a little bit quicker. So I went to Dick Sporting Goods with him, right? Mm -hmm. We go in there, he's looking for some shoes. He just trying them on. He's like, these feel great to just try them on. I'm like, bro, I'm not buying no more new shoes, bro. Like, I'm good. Mm -hmm. So I didn't try them on, right? Fast forward. <laughs> I'm in this new thing. Like, I don't go running like these guys, man. They different. You know what I'm saying? They they different animals, and I'm a different beast. <laughs> you know what I mean? So nice. I go walking. Follow me on Apple Watch. Follow me on Apple Watch. Yeah, yeah. Follow me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I go walk and I play pickleball. I'm a different. I'm a different guy. So I burn more calories than them. He needs to. I really do though. Oh, hey, 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 hey! That was shot. That was nice though. That was, that was shot. Yeah, that was yeah. shot. That was good. Anyway, anyway. So yeah, man. Like, so I've been walking lately. So my my routine. I try, to, I try to get 10 miles in too. Or at least eight. Let's say eight. I go walking four miles in the morning, four miles in the afternoon. And I keep a decent pace, a little 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm missing I'm I'm missing I'm I'm missing the notification. You ain't seen no Listen, the other day, so I, I ran a few miles and then I just decided to kind of like walk out until I get to like, I think I was going to 30 minutes. It's different. So <laughs> I was walking like a 3.6 or 3.7. On the treadmill. That's on the treadmill. The treadmill. Yeah. That's a pretty, to get to like your <laughs> 16 minute pace, yeah. that's a pr you walk away. <laughs> you <laughs> like Chris Paul in that thing. You're like, a 16? Maintaining a narrow lead in these final meters, but here comes an opponent closing the gap. One foot in front of the other, they are battling it out. And Chris Paul edges ahead. Those are the hips. Yeah. No, no, no. So, so I'm, I'm literally, Four normally minutes. I'm at like 15 and a half, 16 <laughs> minutes. Mm -hmm. That's my pace. I be moving. So and you walking, bro? All right, but I'm but I'm doing that for four miles in the morning. Like I said, in the in the morning, four miles in the morning. On the treadmill, though. I'm no, I'm outside. That's I'm, a different. Yeah, yeah. But I'm no, no. Your mind different. You on the treadmill? No, but the other day, no, but no, but the more. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. But the more I've been walking, though, bro, like my whole body feel different. Like I'm I'm sore. Like yeah. just from walking, it's yeah. so simple. But I'm sore. So. I'm trying to get up to 10 miles. I'm trying to get the five and five, but it's a lot, bro. Adding another extra mile is gonna hurt. Yeah. Um, but I said all the same, and I went and got some new shoes. <laughs> so I went and got these new balances. Cloud joints. I mean, like, feel like oh, you're you walking on, balance. bro. They feel like you're walking on a cloud. Mm. See, I got, you know, I wear a size 13, so CB. 
He can't really fit those shoes. I tried them on, it's like clown shoes. Have you ever seen a 13 in these new balance prosthetic shoes that he got on? That's crazy. These size 13 size prosthetic shoes are crazy. Why are you trying to sound like Mike Tyson? I'm saying, it's, 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 I feel like I can just float like a butterfly king, like a bee. This, this is Jamie Foxx right here. Crazy. 13 miles is hey, bro. It is. Bro, size, bro, size 13 That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> You're a comedian. Yeah. Who? <laughs> okay, okay, we're not going to do that. We're not doing that. Yeah, no. Keep that in there. Hey, bro. Oh, wow. Listen. <laughs> the shoes that he got already got a thick sole. I'm talking Very about thick. He already 6'2". He's 6'8 when he put them on. Hang on. Um, secondly, they... He ain't need secondly, they're size like, 13. You but they, I tried them on. I told you, you ain't need on that light. No, it, it's the thickness of the. But they are comfortable. It's yeah. a lot of foam on it, but they're so comfortable. Right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But when you walk, I get, yeah, I get, but no, but, but I get shin splints though. Yeah. And it does have a rocker to it. So like when you walk, it makes you want to walk. You know, yeah, this is, what, this is what they do. You got the same thing. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but, like I was saying, well, I, love, I love the shoes so much. I'm about to get the same pair you yeah, got. Say thank you. Just, I'm about yeah. to get the same shoes you got yeah. just for like, Sporting them, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm just going out somewhere for a little minute, because they got some swaggy pair, like swaggy colors you can get. Nice, but so what? So what made you want? Like how you been doing? Like with your stuff? I mean, obviously I know you had a commission, but before all your stuff kind of happened. Like what you been doing? <laughs> Nothing lately. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing lately. But before before you got hurt, like what were you what were you doing? Man, I, did, I was doing mostly hit workouts. I was doing hit workouts, and then I'll run about two miles, mm -hmm. and then I bent my way up, and I was running eight. Then 10. Shout out to it for life. Shout out to it. They did start to fat. Hey, fat. I'm true. But then, hey, but that was But listen. Back and say, hey. Hey, but listen. <laughs> 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 hey, but listen. That wasn't the hard part. Hey, the hard part was nutrition. Mm. Just how to learn. Hey, the eating, the eating part. Bro, about. please speak on that. Bro, I please speak on that. I see on Instagram every day people working out and then they go eat. Bad, like you, you defeating the purpose, bro. <laughs> well, I purposely, but well, hold on, but something you don't, you don't have to feel no, because I purposely, Shut up, I purposely <laughs> work out just to eat my calories back. I burn calories to eat my calories back. I mean, they ain't cheap. Hey, dick, I don't care no more. Nah. Bro. Just listen, bro. Hold on, all right. Let, let e get off. Bro. Right. But yeah, hey, people, people work out hard. I'm in the gym two hours, hour. I'm an hour guy. Two hours and I boom, and then they go fast food or they go. Stay, stay cool, but big stay here and there. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Well, talk to us. Talk, talk to us about like the importance of eating green and eating. Uh, I mean, you eat very healthy, right? <laughs> I, so, I, I, I want to say non living fruits. I non living. You, I, I'm, I'm kind of, well, I had to be my way up to Well, and you fast too. Food, talk about that. Tomorrow, today, or well, tomorrow, I'll be fasting for like 31 days. Wait, yeah. come out. You be <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. What you you going to try and fast for 31 days? No, I am. What fast I are you cold doing? turkey. My body, my body. What I cold turkey everything. What fast so, are you so, doing? so I just need to be on high alert. This guy need to take you to the hospital. No, get some no, no. So I'm gonna Come be, on, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, eating my fruits, but it's gonna be in juices. I juice my food. Okay. So, so you juicing getting, for thirty one days. For thirty one days. What's what's inspiring you to do this? Fast. Huh? No, you got it, guys. You know what? It's it's a fast. It's it's a fasting fast. from something, but you're juicing for thirty one days. Yeah, thirty one days. What what inspired you to do this? Um, you to try mostly just like mostly just like. <laughs> I see a lot of people with diabetes, mm -hmm. high blood, cap, and things like that. Where's this stuff coming from? It gotta come from somewhere. Yeah. Foods, the bad foods, processed foods, sugar, and all that. Woo woo. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, so me personally, True. I kind of don't. I don't want that. Yeah. So I'm trying to like for me, for the next generation. I want them to be up like. Yeah. Because everything passes down. Right. I want a bad health. No, no bad health. That's it. Yeah. yeah. That's but, it. but also, it, it, also, but, 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 it, but it, it, it is a way of discipline. Cutting them the way how you brought up eating everything bad. Yeah. And it's like being able to just cut it off. Yeah. You really see stuff differently. It, it, it's crazy. Yeah. So, 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 mama cooks some pork chops and some chicken wings. And that 31 fat day fast, I can't do it. <laughs> I, I can't do after it. 31, you good? Nah. Nah, I can't. But mama, that's big. That's big. Though. I mean, that's that's but, big though. Like you're, you're growing up, family, community, everything, man. That yeah. creates the. We think these things is good, but like uh, over the long period of time, yeah. we can see the patterns of exactly. these different diseases and why that's actually it's happening. Going trickle down. You know, I think a lot of times in our community, we like, hey, hey, we gonna die anyway. You know, yeah. so that's how that's what happened. That's normally like what you know is the the counteracting thing that comes yeah. back. But but that's why I at least try to like 
Get out and do something to be sort of angry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're trying to you save yourself. You're trying to yeah, save yourself. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. That's why I'm, I'm serious, though. Like, I try to get out and, like, walk and... Because, bro, you see a lot of people getting overweight. Yeah. And that, that happens so quick. Bro, I can see it. Like, because... Yeah. Like, I'm getting up there. Not even trying to. Like, yeah. and, I, and I don't do nothing crazy, but I can see myself from, like, a year ago, two years ago. Yeah. The way is different. You Your metabolism is slowing down. And we all compare our numbers. Yeah. <laughs> they different. They different. <laughs> they different. Sure. Hey, 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 I started that marathon for a reason. You know what I'm yeah, but I'll say this. <laughs> I'm, I'm healthy, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I was just talking to India about this today, actually. I was saying, you know, think about, like, as we grew up, we saw, like, our elders have these challenges with health, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we talk about high blood pressure, you know, uh, diabetes, uh, you know, heart attacks. I mean, we've seen, I've literally in my own family and other people have seen people experience this. I've seen people, you know, really depending on medical care uh, yes. just in order to survive, right? Yeah. And I told India that I said, it's crazy that, you know, they, the generation before us and, you know, obviously before them dealt with these challenges, they didn't, they didn't have the same accessibility that we have, right? And, and the reason why I, we started this conversation is because as I'm scrolling on, on Instagram, every, and maybe it's just I got to change who I follow. Every time I scroll, or a couple scrolls, and really it was India's page, to be honest, <laughs> she kept seeing all of these different food places, right? Mm-hmm. These different alcoholic drinks because they, they look so cool with the music and stuff like that. So now I'm inspired to go out and do this. Yeah. Or I want to go try this new food place. By the way, by the way, I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. I'm and, and <laughs> no shade to the alcoholic drinks, you know, that drink one a day and, and keep the doctor away, right? But <laughs> for wine. For yeah, wine. Wine. Hey, wine. I just don't want y'all to stop drinking the wine because this is what we do, right? <laughs> but I, I say this to, to say this, though. Um, I can only imagine if we were to fast forward our clock 20 years from now, what challenges will what, what our generation see? You got to think like that. You got to think ahead because, man... We are doing stuff that our parents weren't doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have food places right down the street that they didn't have. Yeah. My, my parent, my mom was in Clarksville, Tennessee, and they had to go tw- 10, 15, 20 miles to get to a McDonald's. Yeah. You know yeah. how easy it is for me to get to a McDonald's right now? <laughs> <laughs> easy. I mean, well, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Right. Right. So right. eating at home, we got we got food at the house. Right. That was what. That's what how I grew up. Yeah. Me too. I can't promise you that I'm gonna have, tell my kids the same thing because I love fast food. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, the reason why I did change my whole health eating is because. The patty melt. I had a patty melt from Waffle House. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> patty melt messed them up. Oh, oh nah. Patty melt messed them up. Patty melt messed them up. Patty melt messed them up. I can sue that though. What happened? I don't even eat patty melt. I'm going to get the fiesta. Um, patty melt. Patty melt. You know you down bad. You're going to get you a patty melt. From the gas? Waffle House. You had it. You were feeling it. Hey, listen. What happened though? I ain't even think of it, but I ate the Patty milk. I was laying down eating the patty milk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was laying down eating the patty milk. Man, I had, a, I had indigestion. Yeah. <laughs> indigestion is whatever. Don't put your finger down, man. <laughs> hey, I had indigestion, so I called me, bro. I man, I'm not feeling good. I'm thinking I'm having a heart attack. It was I, a, that's a heart attack. attack. It was just gas. It was just gas. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to the hospital. I said, the hospital. I said, I said, huh? To the hospital. Jerm, I said, huh? Hospital? Yeah. As an er- as emergency room? That's crazy. <laughs> I drove myself to him so he could take me to the hospital. But, uh, I said, why are you driving to the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was freaking out. He's like, on my door. I, mean, I never ate that. He gave that more support. Hey, bro, you, 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 need need you, need you need people in your life. You need people in your life. You need people in your life. That's an experience, dude. He got gas all the time. He could have told you what he was feeling. Hey, you gas me right now. I just spent three parts in this why, episode. Why this episode, we've been farting the whole time. That's <laughs> crazy. Bro, yeah. Hey, anyway, 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 why don't you just go to the hospital, I bro? Think I could have met you there. I didn't think I would make it. I thought I was going to pass it on the wheel. Like, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Yo, 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 yo. He gets to the house. He's like, bro, I, I to need help. help. Yeah. I look at him like, bro, what you eat? He's like, Waffle House, but I just like, 
I'm like, bro, you good, bro. I don't even worry about it. I said, uh, just, just sleep it off, bro. You, you know how black people do. We sleep it off. So, anyway, Ginger Ale. Ginger Ale. Ginger Ale. You want to solve everything. I need a good burp. I need a good burp. So, basically, you can take me. I said, bro, I'm not taking to a emergency room. I said, you know how much that bill going to be? That bill going to be crazy. And this, like, this is where they get that stimulus check. Oh, this is like 2020. 2020. Yeah, yeah, they get that stimulus check. Yeah. And they just announced, okay, we're going to get about $1,400, yada, yada. And I'm like, all right, cool. Said, PPP loan, y'all. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said hey, what is that? I said, no, nah, nah, I didn't put it. So, so, so check it. <laughs> so <laughs> this is my first time really going to the hospital. So I'm not knowing how much our hospital And I said, I said, bro, I said, I said, that's going to be a bill. I said, that's going to be a bill, bro. I said, you don't want to do that. I'm telling them. You don't want to do that. It's gonna be a bill. Yeah, he's like, yeah. bro. He said, take me. Yeah. He called. He called wifey. Wifey called me. He was trying. He's like, your brother. Know. I said, bro, now you good, bro. I said, ain't nothing wrong with you. And then I take. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we drive. We drive. I drive him over there. He called Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle, bro. Like, he called Michelle. Michelle, love you, baby. She the warden. <laughs> 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 Jeff, you need to take him. Okay, <laughs> and I did. Got in the car. Boom. We got in the car. He said. I said, bro, stop. I ain't nothing wrong with you. Mind you, I feel bad something wrong with him. I know I ain't no wrong with him, though. I've been there. <laughs> All right, so we drop him. We get there. I drop him off. He going to check in. I, I, I didn't really want to be in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't like hospitals and stuff. So it's 2020, you know. The, it's 2020. Yeah, the the vivid is running wild. So I'm, like, I'm not trying to be in there. I'm in a car. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, just text me. So I said, yo, how long? They talking about, it's going to be you see me. He like, I just, he's going to be going to ask. He came back. He talking about some. Three hours. Three, three hours. Man, yeah. You come like three hours. I'm sorry. I come I'm back. back. They already seen me. I'm in the, I'm in the hospital with an IV. IV. Guess what? IV. Them, them dogs are doing this. Yeah. IV empty. Guess what they hit me with? $1,400. <laughs> no change. No, 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 Fourteen hundred took my whole no. stem. It took the whole stem. Yeah, took the whole thing. Hey, it took the whole thing. What was wrong with you though? What was wrong with you? What you mean? What they said? What they found out? Oh, oh, they said they said don't lay down eating food. Put <laughs> <laughs> me in my arm. They, 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 they took off. 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 They I told you, bro. Yeah. I, I you the yeah, take that. Take that. <laughs> and outside of that, boom, I mean, I changed my life for real. It changed your life. It changed his whole life. So, it, it you lost a little, bit, bit, yeah. you yeah. lost a little bit of time. So, you lost a little bit of money. <laughs> Okay. Hey, play that back, bro. What, 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 what you lose? A little bit of time. <laughs> but it, but it, you gained some, you gained some help. I did. I did. It was I a was valuable like, experience. I was in the house of man doing smoothies and everything, man. Bro, no, no, hey, no, no, no. Listen, no, no, no. He, he, went, he, went, he went out and bought a juicer. Yeah. Like, he be juicing beets. Like, bro, I be looking at him sometimes. I go to the like, his breakfast. I eat my, I got, got a whole I, I, uh, I got fruit. fruit I got lettuce. I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got sausage, <laughs> bacon, eggs, some bread. He got the whole pea for you. No, what, what, where should people go and get some uh, good fruit and vegetables from, man? Should they go to Harris Teeter? Should they go to Publix, man? Right, either Harris Teeter or Publix, man. I ain't gonna Just get the organic. Whole foods. Straight, yeah. You ain't got to go organic. Nah, whole Foods is crazy. Hey, 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 you, sure you went to Earth Fire for a little bit. Yeah, they just they overpriced though for no reason. No it's Earth Fire. But make sure you but make sure you get the fruit with the seeds in them. Okay. A lot of fruits here don't have no season. Man. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole thought. That's a whole different. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole different. Make sure you get like the season. That. I like that. Make sure you get the season. Time. Move get eat watermelon without no seeds. Like what you doing? You plant? Nah. You got season. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna start, I'm gonna start a garden, man. I am hey, too. Hey, I am too. Hey, we had some gems today, man. Yeah, some yeah. gems, man. I think a lot of good takeaways, man. Hope. Uh, understanding your tribe, understanding running your own race, man. That's what Bro, it's running about. your own race was. I think that's the best one though, because really big. If, hey. Worry about what's on your plate, it ain't and not nobody else's plate, man. We all got our own thing going on. If you don't mind, let me shout my boy DJ out, man, for the brand. You got Urban Reform, man. You are. Shout out, uh, DJ. DJ, Danny, uh, B.O., and the whole, the whole game, man. Y'all got some really dope stuff. Uh, and seen some really, uh, accredited people wearing it. You got the baby and so on and so forth. A lot of people, but 
It's just swaggy. They talking about I look like a hunter, man. Like, hey, bow, bow. You That's hard. I, I, do like, I, do, I do like the slit. They can't really see it, but I like oh, the slit. Oh, I got slit. a socks on, too. Slit right here. No, I got right. a socks on, too. <laughs> yeah, no, I nah, I was very chill out. We're not talking it. about the socks. I'm talking I got about a socks on, too, now. I do yeah, like it. I got no lotion at all. That's crazy. He pulled the socks up. I do I do like the slit in the front, though, how it comes over the, the you know, the, the J's. That's hard. Yeah, shout out my boy, man. I want to give a shout out to God. Shout out to mom. Mom, dad, uh, sister, big bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jay, cousin Kill. <laughs> hey, cousin Kill. And cousin Christian, man. Love you too, my boy. Yeah, that's the first, that's the first, uh, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> that's the first, the humble brag shout out that we yeah, ever had from a, from a yeah. guest who shout out to my dad. That's all. Right. That's all. Right. Shout out to Sauce, man. Hey, e, shout e, out to, can you okay. give us, give us, give us three takeaways, man? Give it three three things that that the, the audience or that we should take with us and and apply to our lives. That you live by. All right, I'm gonna just give you, I'm gonna just give you a little little words, affirmation, little wisdom, and not one one. Don't believe nothing that you hear and half of what you see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that. That's tough, don't believe. I like, I like apply that to your life, however you do it, and do stuff. Don't do stuff for love, but do stuff with love. Ooh. Think about it. Think about it. Mm-hmm. Give me something. Y'all give me something. Give me something. Like I ain't got to try to. <laughs> <laughs> he gave you two. Two. Hey, 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 two. Hey, 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 two. Hey, 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 yeah, seven on the dot, six point five. Yeah, still in there. So, <laughs> shout out Charles though. Yeah, shout out Charles. It, it ain't, it ain't like I said. I, my palate has grown a little bit where I like a little bit drier. Yeah, I, was I, I like, I like it to get to the tannins a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but that's that because I, you know we've been drinking a lot of different wines lately, and it's just mm-hmm. a little different. But it is good though. Charles Wilson, if you if you watching this, um. All the glasses are empty, the empty. bottle empty, mm-hmm. which is a good sign. Various, a solid, solid option. This is good with uh, poultry, uh, seafood, and they even do barbecue. Yeah, yeah, you said beef. Yeah. It's good for barbecue yeah. too. So if uh, any viewers, if y'all want to go cop this, I got this from Harris Cedar. Nice um, very, very manageable, uh, or very, you know, affordable price range. So what, what was the price range? You remember? Uh, I want to say this was. 19 or 20, 20. 22. Yeah, uh, Harris Cedar is a little bit more expensive. You could probably go to Sam's or Costco and get a Costco. Costco. Thank you. Costco. Indeed. Love. Indeed. That's my favorite place. Indeed. Hey, real quick, we gotta we gotta talk to the most most important people in uh in this episode, the guests, the audience. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank y'all so much for what you've done uh, in terms of support. Thank you for staying tuned in, staying locked in. Uh, season two, great season with great great guests, great members, family members uh, to join us. Please continue to like, subscribe, share. You know, comment below, right? What what is it? Maybe a gem that you took from today's episode. Uh, what's something that you want us to discuss on a, fur- a future episode, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, thank you so much for all you've done. Much love, Jern. Much love, man. Hey, you know, continue to li- lead with positivity, man. The humble Brad podcast. We not gonna stop. You dig? Hey, Hoka. Uh, let me get, uh, let me get a few pairs for uh, the show. Hey, hey, look. Hey, hey, cool. hey, cool. hey cool. Come on now, come on, I got the whole, <laughs> whole thing right here. Not continue to run, continue to run. You got the whole thing. You got the 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 outfit pulled up to oh, your yeah. socks. Oh yeah, we do this, man. We do this, man. We do this, man. We do this, man. Continue yeah. to run your own race, and uh, we'll see you next week on the next episode. Thank you. Peace, peace, peace. peace. much love. Yeah. Shit, my boy. Shit. That wraps up another episode of The Humble Brag. We thank you so much for tuning in. Just a reminder, fellas, a beard is not made by accident. You gotta make sure you take care of it, you groom it, and personal grooming all around is very, very important these days. Make sure that you're taking pride in that. Tap in with Sauce and all the amazing products that they have, link below, and we hope that you all enjoyed the show. Use the promo code HUMBLEBRAG during checkout. We thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.